Hi, Tony Poulos here at Mobile World Congress 2023 in Barcelona. And today I have with me Declan Friel, who's the Chief Technology Officer at NEC Aspire Technology. Well, welcome. Declan, it's great to see you. Tell us briefly about the solutions offered by NEC Aspire Technology. So NEC Aspire Technology has a number of solutions. Firstly, network solutions, traditional, I would say, planning, design, optimization, performance management of networks, open network solutions covering open RAN, lab, interoperability testing, performance benchmarking, and then finally consulting, which is very much around strategic technology decisions that a network operator would make around investing in their network, what technologies they should sunset, and how to manage the capacity in their network and expand their network for future services. And what are the key solutions you're discussing here with customers at MWC? Uh, we're talking about with customers about a number of solutions at the event here this week. Uh, network automation is a big one, uh, and particularly around service management and orchestration, uh, X apps and OR apps, evolution of SON, if you like, for operational efficiency and optimizing networks. This is something we have a, a long tradition and a lot of experience with. We have a, a heritage in research and development for radio product, so product development. We have a lot of experience working directly with network operators on the performance of their networks end to end. So we can design and we can optimize algorithms that bring a level of network intelligence through the RIC. And that's something that we're seeing is quite important. Other areas that are getting a lot of attention from customers is energy efficiency. It's a big topic at the moment. Uh, the consulting business we have, again, around managing and optimizing the transition of networks into 5G, into open networks, managing capacity and so forth. And finally, very much related to that is network support, managing the base legacy systems that you have during a transition into open networks. We have a long history of providing network support for legacy systems while enabling that transition into new technologies. What advantages does the NEC acquisition of Aspire offer to the customers? Uh, NEC Aspire acquisition offers, for NEC customers in particular, increased SI capability, particularly around open networks and managing open networks end to end. The history that NEC Aspire has with legacy networks, both R&D and optimization, is very important for brownfield deployments, which is something we want to see more and more of in Open RAN. So managing networks end to end, understanding the performance and maximizing the performance of new networks, open networks, working together with legacy networks. Uh, I think also from a point of view of the customers that NEC Aspire have taken into the acquisition, What's really valuable for them is access to the scale and the technology that NEC has that we can bring to those customers now. And could you tell us in detail how NEC Aspire Solutions helps operators to reduce energy consumption? It's such a hot topic at the moment. It is a critical issue at the moment and it's getting a lot of attention and it's something, as I said, we're talking to customers about quite a lot at this show. Uh, we have uh, developed a solution that is a network automation software-based solution to manage and optimize energy consumption in the radio network. Essentially what we're doing is we are shutting down capacity that is not required during quiet periods, weekends, evenings, and we're doing that on a per cell basis. We're using a lot of advanced AIML algorithms, and this is helping us to really understand what exactly we can shut down safely that does not impact the performance of the network. We've, as I said earlier, we have a very strong history and heritage in managing and optimizing networks. So we're really coming at it from that perspective to make sure that the performance of the network is in no way uh, damaged or undermined, but at the same time, extra capacity, particularly what we see is with increased 5G layers of spectrum being added to the network, but also 4G, there's an opportunity at quiet periods and quiet locations to shut down uh, certain amounts of capacity. The, there's big variations in traffic patterns, location, time of day, day of week, uh, and this is something that really facilitates this, this solution. We have it running live in quite a number of network operators, including European tier one operators, uh, both 4G and 5G. So it really is uh, something that is live and in the network. 
Declan, it sounds like the merge of NEC and Aspire Technology is such a great outcome. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.